you will need an acid base indicator diluted with water, we're using juice from a purple cabbage, two clear 10 ounce plastic cups, a three ounce paper cup, masking tape, baking soda, vinegar, and plastic wrap. Pour about one and a half fluid ounces of acid base indicator solution into each of the clear plastic cups. Add one half teaspoon baking soda to the paper cup. Take the paper cup inside one of the clear cups. Make sure the bottom of the paper cup isn't getting wet. This will be our test cup and this will be our control cup. Add one teaspoon vinegar to the cup with the baking soda. But make sure you don't spill any into the cup under it. Cover both your cups in saran wrap. Do you notice anything? This experiment shows how gas diffuses or moves into a liquid. We created carbon dioxide gas by misting the vinegar and baking soda. The gas diffused into the liquid in the clear cup. When carbon dioxide gas diffuses into water, it creates something called carbonic acid. The indicator liquid we put into the cup changes color based on the acidity of the liquid. Right now it's saying it's become more acidic. You may have heard of ocean acidification before. The change we saw in our cup is the same thing that's happening to the oceans. As the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increase, a lot of that CO2 diffuses into the water of the ocean. Remember, when CO2 diffuses into water, it creates carbonic acid. That's causing the ocean to become more acidic, just like the liquid in our cup. Diffusion goes both ways. CO2 can diffuse from the air into a liquid and from a liquid back into the air. Can you think of a way to reverse what we just did? Let us know at Curiosity Day's Polar Science Weekend, coming up this weekend.